exotic animals that should not be domesticated. Eleven, kangaroo. If you want to stand a fighting chance against a kangaroo, you better make it your friend because kangaroos are known for their fighting spirit. A kangaroo trying to make off with one Aussie's dog recently found himself in fisticuffs when the dog's owner stepped in to defend Rex. But if you still decide a kangaroo is the pet for you, then you wouldn't be the first to try and domesticate this jumping jack. Since Captain Cook's 1771 expedition to Australia when the kangaroo was discovered by Europeans, people have attempted to keep them caged up, but it hasn't been a massive success. These giant animals weigh a few hundred pounds in muscle and reach speeds of 50 miles per hour. So if you collide with one, you better expect a nasty injury. It also means that they require a ton of space to be free to exercise and run, well, hop, at their will. Zoos, amusement parks, and even private owners have tried to keep them, but it's never a good life for the kangaroo. They show signs of stress-related diseases, developmental issues, and general mental distress. They're pack animals and need to interact with their own to have the social stimulation they need, and can be quite violent when they feel threatened or trapped. In this situation, their nails and sheer strength inflict nasty damage to anyone in their way. So while they're advertised by breeders for domestic situations, it isn't advisable to take this beautiful creature from its natural habitat. 10. Deer Deer seem calm and docile while grazing on a grassy patch. The truth is, there are times when deer can be wild at heart, and with those antlers, wild at heart can soon turn dangerous. For example, in Tennessee, a woman was attacked by a pet deer that was supposedly tame. He slammed her to the ground and started attacking her with his antlers while she was down. The 18-month-old buck, named Louie by his owner, was known to the community. His owner thinks it's near impossible he would attack unprovoked, but zoologists disagree. During rutting season, when males fight for dominance, they receive a natural surge of testosterone. This can drive them to be aggressive, territorial, and in the case of Louie, unpredictable. Luckily, in most places, it's illegal to take animals like Louie out of the wild and keep them as pets. 9. Fennec Fox A new favorite in the exotic pet field is the Fennec Fox. The tiny bat-eared fox is inarguably cute. They're known to be really friendly, hyper-energetic, and require a ton of exercise but that doesn't mean that they should be domesticated in the first place. They aren't suited for life as a pet. Not only are they difficult to litter train, they also have completely different body clock wiring and are nocturnal. And sure, you're thinking, well, so is my cat or hamster, but fennec foxes are loud and frenetic at night. Their domestic regimen also requires plenty of playtime, regular feedings, clipping nails, grooming, socialization, and did we say tons of exercise? So be sure you have the time, because if you own a fennec fox, you have your work cut out for you. 8. Skunks Most people spend their lives trying to avoid skunks, even employing skunk-repelling concoctions and devices. But a growing number of people are inviting these creatures indoors and keeping them as pets. According to skunk enthusiasts, domestic skunks can make friendly companions compared to their wild skunk family. Skunk enthusiasts have been in the skunk domestication game for over 60 years already, with each generation of fun-loving and furry mischief makers creeping into the hearts and homes of more and more Americans. But what about the biggest question we all have? How do skunk owners not get sprayed? As young babies, they're descented an operation similar to spaying or neutering. After that, they're not able to spread their musky spray anymore, a real game changer that makes them an option as a domestic pet. Skunks can be litter trained, and even though they're naturally active at dawn and dusk, they can be taught to sync with a human sleep cycle. Their main appeal is their cuddly affectionate nature, playfulness, and their never-ending antics. 7. Tigers A tiger isn't just a big cat. It's an apex predator responsible for many human deaths near the forest it frequents. Despite the dangers of interacting with them, people still attempt to domesticate these great cats. There are more tigers kept in captivity than there are left in the wild today. The average tiger is strong enough to take down a 500 pound antelope, so it can make light work of a human who misjudges their power. Firstly, male tigers are extremely territorial and don't mingle peacefully with other males. Keep in mind that they mark their territory with urine and feces before you buy a new rug. They roam a large territory. Male tigers cover a territory of 40 miles and females around 7 miles. So you can be sure they need more than a city apartment to live their best life. 
Tigers are also great escape artists and can easily swim, climb, or jump out of any enclosure. Tigers have escaped from captivity many times and each time has been a danger to humans. When stressed or scared, tigers lash out aggressively. Domestic tigers also associate humans with food. A stressed and hungry tiger on the loose from the local zoo can be a lethal combination to a human who crosses its path. Six, serval. A serval is one of the small African wildcats. Its beautiful coat is glossy and its size is comparable to a medium-sized dog. Some serval owners successfully train their cats to use the litter box, so they're popular with cat lovers. But servals are a completely different can of worms than owning a domestic cat. They aren't aggressive in nature, but they are still wild hunters with a strong survival instinct. This wild streak isn't easy to train away, so it's best not to keep them in a house with rodents or birds, which make up their diet in the wild. They'll also pounce on insects, frogs, and empty a garden pond of fish if given the chance. They need space to run and reach speeds of 50 miles per hour. Five, mongoose. Mongooses are found in the wild all over the world, from the southern parts of Europe and Asia to the mainlands of Africa and the US. Wherever there are mongooses, there's damage to the flora and fauna around them. So introducing them to any further natural habitats can cause damage. And they're banned in many areas to avoid habitat destruction. They're also prone to rabies outbreaks, so it's not wise to bring a wild mongoose into your home. But on the domestic front, they're popular because of their quirkiness and intelligence. They can learn tricks and follow orders after a bit of training. They're also carnivores, so they'll make light work of any rodent problem you have. Mongooses also hunt snakes, so that's a bonus. They have very sweet personalities, enjoy affection, and are gentle and meek towards people. However, in the case of rabies infections, they can become aggressive and unpredictable. Four, chimpanzee. Signing up for a chimpanzee is a lifelong commitment as they grow to a ripe old age. Chimpanzees' anthropomorphic nature is what makes them absolutely adorable. Their loving, smiling, playful antics are entertaining and can feel like a real bridge between humans and animals. As gentle and fun as they may seem, have no illusions about the strength of this 150 pound primate, adapted to thrive in wild forest environments. Housing a chimpanzee is a tricky business because their cages need to be durable enough to endure their ape strength with plenty of mental stimulation and physical space to move. Owning a chimpanzee is illegal in most places in the world, so thankfully these great apes are left to live as nature intended, wild and free. Three. Anteater. The anteater makes the list based on their most prominent owner, the famously eccentric artist Salvador Dali. Dali was known to parade his anteater down the streets of Paris as he took it for its daily walks. The 10-pound tamandua is a smaller version of the giant anteater and is kept by pet owners as a cuddly, non-violent companion in places where it's legal. They have a very specific diet of termites and ants, so expect to become an expert in ant and termite rearing too to keep your anteater well fed. Two, llama. Llamas are cool, not as a fashion item, but as in being cool, calm, and collected. They're so good as a calming source that they're used as therapy animals in many programs. Where it's legal, they're proving increasingly popular as a family pet. They're relatively low maintenance, affectionate, clean, and if given enough outdoor space to frolic, can live a happy domestic life. If you could legally own any exotic animal, which would it be and why? Let us know in the comments below. One, hyena. There's a reason you don't see hyenas in shows in people's front yards. They adapt poorly to safe and comfortable coexistence with humans. Scientists predict it would take a thousand years to properly domesticate the hyena species. They're among the smartest of all mammals and live in large and complex social dynamics. Thank <laughs> you.